Yo, what's going on guys? So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different for this season's Spiral Abyss video. Uh, I did record already, but I wasn't, as you can see, I already 36 starred, but I wasn't really satisfied with the video, like how I played and stuff like that. So I'm going to be doing something a little bit different this uh, season. I'm going to be playing international for every uh, half, basically. And yeah, I'm just gonna be like commentating on, you know, how like the strategies and stuff, I guess. There's a wave of rune enemies in the early beginning that you wanna burst down with child. And depending on how invested your team is, you may or may not be able to one shot these rune enemies. And don't be afraid to use his melee stance burst because they drop a ton of energy. So you don't need to be worried about not getting your burst back. After you kill them, you wanna transition over to these consecrated beasts. And I wouldn't recommend that you go for a double swirl setup unless you can get the charge shot off uh, while they're still uh, like spawning in because these concentrated beasts are very aggressive and using your charge shot after they already like start moving around is sort of like a death sentence. And there's only really like two situations where you want to go for a double swirl setup. Alright, so we're in the second half and it's really similar to the first half because you just have a first wave of enemies that you just nuke down really fast with child. Like that, and then you want to start uh, going to the other side of the map because the consecrated beasts spawn here. Yeah, it's pretty self explanatory. Just want to kill these two larger samurai at the same time because. Otherwise, they're going to go into their buff state, and you don't really want that to happen. And it's also like not really easy or possible to do double scroll setup against these uh, consecrated beasts because they're super. They do a lot of damage. So if you try to do like charge shots and stuff, you're probably going to die. I'm just trying to get my burst back. Alright, so we're in the second chamber here, and we're against the Aeon Black Drake, and when it's just waking up, you just want to refill all your bursts. And when you're shooting down the Aeon Black Drake, you do want to <clears throat> use a fully aimed shot to remove the pyro, otherwise you won't be able to do your double soul setup because the stance change is going to vaporize off the uh, pyro aura and you won't leave a hydro aura. And you definitely don't want that because you know you, you want your double soul on this big single target. Okay, just gonna do this double soul again with the aim shot. And it's gonna do that bomb attack, so you wanna shoot the you know weak spot. And you wanna refill your bursts first before you start autoing on child. Okay, well I kinda messed up there, but you get what I mean. Hopefully. And then, yeah, just trying to get Try to get your child burst back because it's important. Yeah, you can finish off the Yeah, I'm like Drake after that. Alright, so in the second half, there's three of those new hilly trolls, and they spawn like really uh, far away. And the way you want to group them together is you just want to run uh, furthest away from those two end, end ones, so the only one of them will spawn the um, the bubble got only one of them will spawn the bubbles and the other two you know they're just gonna run to you and after that you can just you know, start doing that and they're all gonna die really relatively quickly 
You can just get your burst back and stuff. Then you want to target the Animo Aramite spawner, whatever you want to call her. And you can do your double soul setup. And you just want to make sure that you have your burst while they're doing their entire combo so you can high frame it. Otherwise, you're going to be. You're gonna, probably going to struggle a lot to survive. Yeah, after that, you just want to, you know, get your burst back again because you definitely want them in the triple Kenki chamber. Okay, this guy just refuses to die. Oh my gosh, the ice cake literally blocked my charge shot. But yeah, that's basically how you want to handle that chamber. All right, so we're against the big Dorito guy here, and you know, depending on how invested your team is, you can opt to use the um, melee child burst if you can one rotate this guy, or like you know, do like ninety percent of his health down with like a singular you know melee and uh, melee burst, and then you can just like finish him off. But personally, I can't, so I just do the range bur range burst like twice to kill this guy. But yeah, I get like 200k almost. But yeah. This gives you time to like <clears throat> do their setup because he doesn't. He has like invisible lady time, so. It doesn't really matter if, uh, you know, he is, uh, you know, not, you're not able to get your full damage on him because you're, you're not going to be able to get your full damage on him anyways, so why not just do your double sword setup that consumes, like, more time, I guess. And yeah, just one shot him, no need to use my Shanling and stuff. That just feels better to clap him with the melee burst, you know? Alright, so we're up against the Magukenki chamber. And there's two ways you can group them. You gotta use the Kazuo E at the really beginning, or you can run all the way to the left, which I'm gonna do because, you know, more consistent, I guess you could say. I just did a shorter rotation because it's like you're less likely to die and also because these guys like they don't really have as much, that much HP so if you do that then yeah you could just finish it off with the melee child burst which is like <clears throat> faster clear time I think but yeah anyways guys that's gonna be it for this video uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching my you know, child sort of guide for this abyss. Hopefully you learned something from my rotations or, you know, had fun watching because this team is very satisfying to use. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys in my next video.